Local law enforcement is turning to the digital world to help crack down on crime. Take a juice City Holes Faster shows us St. Joseph Crime Stoppers' new tips app. At a time where almost everything can be done online, St. Joseph Crime Stoppers are taking a new approach with their tips hotline. If you don't want to call the tips hotline anymore, you can go on to uh, a computer and you can log into p3tips.com. The software can be accessed on your computer or even downloaded to your smartphone. That'll take you to a link and there's some drop down boxes to select your state and select St. Joseph, Missouri. You can uh, make a tip there online. It's still totally anonymous, just like the 238 tips line it always has been. And users can upload video clips and pictures to go along with the report. If someone's got a picture or a video of a crime happening, and they can send it straight to the police department or sheriff's department through this link. Officers are hoping the app will filter out some of the hype off social media and give users direct communication with police. There's a lot of crime pages out there on Facebook, Twitter, and the police department, sheriff's department, we don't really ever see those. With this, we hope that those people that are putting information on these crime watch pages will see something on there, maybe copy and paste it. They can then take that and drop it into a link on this P3 software and send it to the tips hotline that way. And with the convenience of an app, following up with crime victims can be even easier. In the past, if someone calls in 238 tips, that's usually the only time we ever hear from him. We have no way to recontact re them. If that caller would, or that tipster would log back into their account, they would see that someone from the police department or the sheriff's department or the drug strike force has asked them for more information. Sydney Holes Faster, KQ2 News. The Crime Stoppers app will be free for both Apple and Android users. Crime Stoppers expects to launch the app for St. Joseph on Friday.